RPs, you're looking really amazing tonight. We're great, we're really excited to be here from Philadelphia. Uh, as Mikhail said, my name is Yolanda Wisher and I'm the curator of spoken word for an awesome organization called Philadelphia Contemporary. We're building a museum in West Philadelphia of contemporary art. And when it's built, I hope you'll all come and check it out. And we're excited to bring to Miami two iconic, world-renowned, Philly artists. They're some of my favorites. I think they'll become yours. I think the work that they're doing right now is groundbreaking at the intersection of art and social change, but they are also black women with a very strong vision of the future, and that's what you're gonna hear tonight. So I give you black quantum futurism, more mother, Kame Iowa, and Rashida Phillips. quantum predestination paradox, noticeably present in stories where black women are the time travelers, where cause and effect appears to be open to multiple nonlinear influences. The paradox acknowledges the ways in which time feels layered in Afro-diasporan traditions where the past is always layered over the present moment, where our ancestors reside with and within us, even if on a different world plane. For the purposes of stories featuring the black grandmother paradox, the phenomena appears to resolve the grandfather paradox that limits time travel or deems it impossible. In the novel Kindred, Octavia Butler's time-traveling protagonist Dana lands 200 years into her relative past, pulled back by a soon-to-become slave-owning ancestor whom she must choose to continue to save in order to ensure her own timeline. She invokes memory the urgency of survival as a vehicle to carry back and forth through time. In some sense, this continual birthing of her own timeline, saving herself instead of killing the grandfather, defeats the grandfather paradox. Or perhaps it avoids it all together. The very act continues to restore balance to the universe. It sets it right. Black womanist temporalities, the unique intersectional temporal experiences of being black and woman. At any moment, she'll be coming around. At any moment, the queen, the queen, she'll be coming around, she'll be coming around, she'll be coming around. At any moment, the queen will be coming around.
coming around, coming around Black Boy Hill at any moment. At any moment, she'll be coming around. At any moment, at any moment, you'll be coming around. Wearing more jewelry, you'll be coming, you'll be coming, you'll be coming, you'll be coming to teach me about the fact of blackness. And how anti-blackness has colonized the domains of truth. Every truth, every property of the queen. So when I say the truth will do you no good here, you'll understand the hostile environment of breathing, walking, talking, dreaming against the law. At any moment, they'll be coming around to deliver another blow choking in the house of common death and deeds, in the house of lords and reptiles. At any moment, she'll be coming around to tell us how whiteness bridges the geographical, how it bridges continental boundaries with handshakes and IOUs. At any moment, we'll be coming around. At any moment. At any moment, at any moment, at any moment, at any moment. At any moment, we'll be coming around. Call a memory. Then get, get inside, inside of the memory to actually re-experience it. Not just a flash or an image, but build up the scene of the memory like a play set and step out onto the stage. Describe the memory from the perspective of other objects in the room. Pay particular attention to the thoughts that you have and order them in relationship to the past, the present, or the future. For example, if you have a thought about something you plan to do tomorrow, order that thought into the future. If you have a memory of the past, order that to the past. If you have a present sensation, such as a thought about your current surroundings, a feeling of discomfort, place that thought into the present category. As you categorize your thoughts, take one thought from the future, reverse it, build up a memory, place your consciousness inside of the future memory to re-experience it. Take one of the past memories that you have reversed. Walk into it as if it's unfamiliar, as if you're experiencing it for the very first time. We heard the lambs are crying. We heard the lambs are crying in the deep river. Under the gaze of Lincoln, my country tis a V, 75,000 blank faces hoping for color, for the fight for civil rights. And it was never civil. It was barbaric at the very least, grotesque in its nature, and you had to go into the jungle of the world with the weapon of your choosing. 
and it wasn't anyone's business how you went about it. See, you had to go in the jungle of the world with the weapon of your choosing. And it wasn't anyone's business how you went about it. A house of your own design, a world of your own design. It's rare to walk. It's rare to walk back straight from 1897 to 1993 with grace. A woman from South Philadelphia, black, with God, rare in America, rare in America, rare in America, a black woman's voice allowed to reverberate through time, rare in America, rare in the face of you, a voice, a voice, a voice, a voice, a voice. beyond her own, a woman singing in peace, rare in America, the psychoacoustics of a black woman, remember, 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 remember singing in the church, remember in the choir with my mother, remember, 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 remember. It was the church that bought me here, remember? 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 It was the church. It was the church. It was the church that bought me here, remember? Remember? It was the church. It was the church that I started learning the classics, the language, the notes, the strings, the sorrows, the grief, the piano, the keys, the jazz, the blues, the spirituals is possible. It's 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 possible. Unbothered. Unburdened. Done lay down your burdens. Done prayed at the mountain. It's possible. It's possible to be a black girl living, singing with your mama, singing, traveling the world. You felt safe. You felt safe in the hymn. You felt safe in the breast of an opera. It's possible in America to survive, to survive as a black woman and live to talk about it. It's possible. A black woman on her own terms is possible. It's possible. It's possible. Classical physics and quantum physics seemingly contradict. Blinded by its own so-called enlightenment, thusly setting light and dark as opposites. Eternally at odds inside of the cascading chaotic universe. Science is really the resulting end of a negotiation. The laws and principles we hold to be commonly true about the universe, the world, ourselves, all shaped, shaped by a hand, hand of a privileged view. view. People on the edges the intersections, the margins can no longer rectify our lack of survival in 
a traditional universe and no longer computes for our program of living. We are here. We are many. We are political. We are political because who you like to fuck is political. Because drinking clean air, drinking clean water, breathing clean air is political. And in order to disavow the political, in order to break down the political, in order to understand how it already has you confined, you must proceed to unravel it from the inside. Out of the dust, the crumbling institutions of imagination, what they call America, we emerge. We emerge as speculative possibility. We emerge as time equals space. We emerge to heal our ancestral wounds. We are born into institutions. Our very first breath and vision of the world outside the space time of the womb is taken between the four walls of an institution. Like newborns to an umbilical cord, we remain tethered to institutions all our lives, depending upon them for sustenance, protection, health, welfare. These institutions built on stolen land are the great European fathers' playgrounds, testaments of patriarchy. They have created the space-time we all abide by, the timeline brought to you by Einstein, Newton, Galileo, and other long-dead Europeans contradicting our experience, reality, and the wisdom of the ancients. We hold their truths to be self-evident, and the system plays to the audience's perceptions. In mimetic, genetic, quantum urban Darwinism, certain structures and myths went out over others. The eternal game played inside the arena of this particular space-time. An after effect of the electromagnetic crisscross path created when the atom was split, bifurcated from its better half. It split the brain into two halves, two left, right, male, female, electric, magnetic information from the future constantly falling into indeterministic gaps in the present. In other words, we see what we have always seen when we don't expect to see differently. The observer's bias, the reason why the conditions of our universe is the ideal incubator for the breeding of galaxies, stars, and planets. Thermodynamics. The theory by which we hold our notions of cause and effect is only statistical in nature, overly concerned with equilibrium. But if change is equalized, it becomes static. Under the regime of thermodynamics, becoming collapses into being, like a piece of light collapsing into a wave or a particle, suddenly shy when observed. The arrow of time defined by thermodynamics must be dissolved. Feedback back from the future must guide the development of the present. 
and the past. Time is when we notice change. We notice change when light reaches our eyes. It is time for a change, the creation of a new space-time. A new science for a new world of our own shaping. A new world where there is no difference between the experimental and the theoretical. And if the beginning of matter lies in sound, vibration, the utterance of the word, it is through the word that we produce new space times. The word is the weapon to destroy the old worlds and the tool to build up the new. We got so much space. So much space can't tell the difference. The continual humiliation of a black woman's body. Remember, we got so much space. We got so much space can't tell the difference. We got so much space, they pushing, they pushing, they pushing, they pushing the poor right out of sight. If you didn't let them kill us, if you didn't let them kill us already, if you didn't let them kill us already, remember, remember the times. Do you remember the times, do you remember the times we was waiting for the bus and something hit us in the head and dragged us in the alley? But we got so much space. And everyone is dead or at home deleting the human parts of themselves. Control, alt, delete, backspace, escape, 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 escape. And they ain't coming back outside until they feel safe again. Till they have enough space, till they have enough space. Today done moved every black body, not hanging from a tree, not in prison, not shucking and jiving in a house of appropriation. So much space. Before I went to sleep last night, I wrote down the number 23, the amount of women killed so far this year by the police. And when I woke, nine bodies were found shot and killed and a woman's throat was sliced while waiting for the bus. Does it matter? 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 Who's doing the killing where the bodies turn up? How many think they have the privilege and ownership and control over our bodies? At this point, we are under siege. At this point, we are under siege. A compliment is a time bomb ticking. Being stopped by the police is a heart attack coming. Being alone at night is a game of Russian roulette. Walking around, around you, around you, around you, and all your do-gooding, and all your do-gooding, and all your intelligence it must be nice. It must be nice, it must be nice not looking over your shoulder. It must be nice having a memory, no memory, having no memory, having no memory, no memory. It must be nice having no memory, no memory. It must be nice, it must be nice. It must be nice, it must be nice, it must be nice. So much space. 
And at any moment, and at any moment, we'll be coming around, we'll be coming around. They say at any moment, we'll be coming back around to ourselves. At any moment, we'll be returning to feel, to feel our ancestors at any moment. At any moment, it'll be all coming around. At any moment, Jesus is going to come and save us. At any moment, we'll reach heaven. If we keep doing good, if we keep talking right, if we keep doing good, if we keep... How long do we have to wait? Well, she said it took Jesus 272 years to free the slaves. And she don't mind waiting. I want to tell her that the hands of a clock are not the hands, but the hands choking you, choking you, choking you, choking you, choking you, choking you, choking you. Choking you, choking you, choking you. watching you is the watch watching you what year was the watch made what year was the clock made does it still stand the test of time what has changed does it stand the test of what has remained where are our time when you're using the clock? What are the intersecting and conflicting temporalities that are pulled into your now using the clock? Imagine the boundaries. Imagine the contested boundaries that the clock contains. How can they be remapped? What unspoken agreements? What negotiations are embedded in the clock or watch that you're using? How do we dismantle the master's clock? What timekeeping methods will take its place? What can we communally create? Speculative science, hashtag experimental metaphysics. To perceive the world is to anticipate it, 
Brain waves store knowledge about the world and probability of one state of events following another to generate a prediction. See Darwinism. What we perceive is determined by what we know, vice versa. There is no year, no history, no past just stories. Everything we think we know is all just a meme. Language builds up the world in images. It makes things interchangeable with actions. It allows action to hide behind language. Word magic is a shortcut to reality alteration. Thank you, we're Black Quantum Futurism. Thank you very much.